What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, what's up? My name is Natalie and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. Telling me there'll be better days. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Like Yeah. My intuition is telling So today's video wasn't really planned, but let me tell you how it happened. Okay, so the first TR foundation I tried was the Forever Perfect what the one that Jaclyn Hill recommended. And I hated it. Then I tried the Forever Undercover 24 hour full coverage foundation and this has slowly become like my favorite foundation. It is definitely my like ride or die liquid foundation. Hourglass is still like my ride or die stick foundation but as far as liquid foundations go, this is amazing for me. So, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So, I'm like, alright, Dior has been doing pretty good with their foundations and I'm hearing a lot of good, you know, feedback and reviews about it. I want to try it. Let me read the description of each one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Dior Backstage Foundation on one side of my face and then I'm going to put the Dior Forever Undercover on the other side and we are going to see if there is a difference and go from there. So let me read to you which each each one's claim each one's claims are. So for the Dior Backstage it's $40 for 15 mLs or 1.6 fluid ounces. Coverage medium. I should have known there. Finish matte. Okay, it says a foundation for the face and body in 40 shades with a natural matte finish and medium buildable coverage that's waterproof and sweat resistant. And blah blah blah. Okay. So let me read to you the Forever Undercover. This is $52 for 1.3 fluid ounces. So this is definitely more expensive, but in my opinion, it's worth it. I guess it depends on what you're looking for. Coverage full, check. Finish matte, okay, and it says it is a 24 hour full coverage water-based foundation. And it says Dior introduces its most extreme wear foundation yet um, with Forever Undercover. This ultra fluid water based foundation blends full coverage with a lightweight formula to deliver a natural matte finish that goes from day to night. I included this in my favorites months ago and I have seriously been wearing it almost every day since. I've had to stop wearing it recently because I'm, a f I'm like almost about to run out. So, we are going to get into the review and demo. I'm going to stop talking, but first, before we get into that, there's two things before we get into that. First, can we take a moment of silence and appreciation for my beautiful new wall? I am like obsessed. I wanted it turned that way, <clears throat> but I needed to stick it to the wall to the window, to the wall, to the switch. Sorry, that was playing at my high school prom. Oh my god, that just shows how old I am. But I am living for it. But one, one more thing, you can't see it. That isn't the truest statement. I don't know what it is. Alright guys, well we're going to get into it and if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. 
I'm going to be starting um, by priming my face with Tatcha the Silk Cannabis Finish Primer. So that I tried using these waxing strips and every time I do, I just break out. I'm never using them again. Ever! No thank you. I will just shave. It's not worth more of it. So now I'm going to use the Dior Forever Undercover 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation on one side and the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation on the other so you can see the difference. I'm actually not going to tell you which one I'm putting on which side until after I am finished. So for the first one I'm going to put on this side. two completely different buffing brushes that are similar to buff them out so none of the product will touch each other. So, I'm going to put a little more. Okay, so here is foundation number one on the left side. Here, ooh, that face, that side's a wreck. We need to hurry this up as, as quick as possible. <laughs> okay, so foundation number two. Okay, so here is side two. Okay, this is crazy. This side looks better on camera, but in person, this side looks better.
Okay, so let me put some concealer on and then we will go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to conceal with the Too Faced Perfect Cleanser. I mean, whatever. Born this way, I wasn't even close. Multi use sculpting concealer. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and bounce it out. I have noticed that I really do like this concealer, but I've noticed that it doesn't work with some products. Like, I tried to use it with my Hourglass setting powder, and it like separated it and it looked horrible. So, I'm kind of hesitant about using it. We'll see. So, here is slide number one. And here is slide number two. Okay, so this side is the Dior Backstage Face and Body, and this is the Forever Undercover. I act, there is like a huge difference in their color, but I think this is like the lightest shade in this one but I have tried this foundation on multiple occasions and whenever I put it on it like wouldn't blend out and it just looked so smeary in my lights upstairs and in person but for some reason like on camera it like translating that it looks better I don't know why but I do not like it, and I'm going to be returning the face and body foundation and give me another one of these, maybe in a lighter color, because I love this foundation. Like, I'm getting low. Mama's getting low. So, I'm going to bronze using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. So overall, I think for the face and body foundation, you have, to, it says on this Sephora description that it is a medium but buildable coverage. I want my coverage full. I don't like to build it. And I did notice that if I wanted full coverage, I had to put on more layers. It just like didn't blend out smoothly. It looked very messy and blotchy. And like this is full coverage. And it's a matte finish, but it's like a natural matte. Let me know what you guys think.
so I mean if you want to try this this might be a good foundation for you but it did not work for me I am going to stick with my Dior forever undercover all right guys well I hope you liked this review and comparison product comparison and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm a bad bitch you are a bad bitch and bad bitches just hang out here so you know makes sense all right guys I'll see you in my next video